Welcome back. So on Wednesday, uh, the guys quickly uh, threw together this uh, platform for the left side lower wing. And uh, you see the mill is just starting out the rough cut there. So it didn't take them long to put this one together, seeing that they'd done basically the same thing on the right one um, last week. So anyway, underway on that one. And Chris and Roberto were in again on Wednesday, and this time they're working on the mold for the uh, right side cowling. So you can see they're basically just at the peel ply level there, almost uh, finished off laying you know the first light layers on that. So that one will be ready for heavy layers. And here's our lower left side wing skin uh, plug, sort of halfway through on the machine. So all the uh, face cuts have been done there on the outboard side of the wing, and it's uh, just getting ready there to run uh, the inside part on the strake. And by Thursday evening that was already all done and cleaned up and ready to be glassed. So here you can see uh, Roberto and Chris in again. And uh, so this time they've put down the uh, heavy layer of, uh, or one heavy layer of glass on this plug and just getting ready to wet it down with the resin. So that one will be ready to get uh, putty sprayed on there. And this is Devin and Jeff working on uh, finishing off putting the heavy layers of uh, carbon on this uh, cowling uh, mold so just basically finishing on that off and putting a little bit of peel or a couple of pieces of peel ply on there for where the braces are going to sit and uh, be bonded into place there so two strips of that end up going down so that one's uh, pretty much done apart from the bracing and this is friday morning so uh, devon and uh, zach out there with the uh, orbital sanders there just basically uh, roughing up the uh, fiberglass there so it's ready to accept um, a layer of uh, or several coats of putty on there before it can go up on the machine you can see it's all finished and hard there after uh, getting laid up the night before and there's always some sanding going on so this is the um, basically what's going to be the mold for the um, header tank that goes behind uh, the cabin so that one's getting close to being ready for primer. Here's that right side cowling um, mold again. So it's had the peel ply release there and it's actually ready to be released from the plug. And you'll see that there in a second. So where those uh, sort of flat areas are, that's where the braces are gonna be. So here it is released from the plug. And obviously um, even the rubber channel hasn't been pulled out yet there and it needs to be um, you know trimmed and smoothed around the edges there but that one came out nicely so that one will be ready to lay up that part eventually and so uh, here's Zach laying down the uh, surface coat the black surface coat um, so we can create the mold for the first of this lower wing strakes and you can see there there's the wheel well where the main landing gear retracts into so just two layers on that and uh, now it's uh, Saturday so the guys will be in the shop um, Roberto and Chris will be in the shop because they come in on Saturdays and they'll be laying up the uh, first layers of that one to create that mold. Okay so here's our left side lower wing skin plug and so up on the machine after having the putty put on and you see I've already run uh, some of the ball mill passes that were on the transitions and the corners there and this is just starting out on the flat mill so you can see how this uh, the flat mill pass kind of meets up where the ball mill pass had already run on the corner there. So anyway, that's underway and that um, pretty much ran uh, all of Friday evening and then that needs the, to be relocated or slid down and uh, run the other half uh, by where the strake is. And here you can see this is Friday evening, it's a little bit further along now, it's just starting out the main field of the skin there. So uh, anyway, that one's working smoothly and uh, no problems foreseen with that one. So the next plugs on the machine are going to be the upper wing skins. So this is uh, just to show you what we're starting out with. So that's obviously just the basic skins, uh, upper and lower. And from there, we need to sort of strip that down a little bit to get what we need. So there's just the upper skin, including the winglet. But, you know, we're not going to mill the winglet at the same time. That's going to be a separate uh, plug so we can create a separate mold and we'll have a joggle in there so the parts overlap and bond together nicely. So as you can see, this is basically what we're left with, the upper skin there, so outboard wing and the inside uh, rear part of the strake. So uh, the next thing to do now is to add all the flanges to that, which makes it end up looking like this. So filled in where that uh, flap is going to be. So that's just a flat surface there and we'll end up cutting that out later. 
um, and then just added a bunch of flanges all around the side there and had to do some interesting things here. So the leading edge, because we're having underneath there, um, that's actually going to be part of the part, uh, we actually had to make that stick out. And so the mill will be actually running under there and sort of doing an undercut under there. So anyway, that's how it's going to look. So next week uh, I'll be creating the platform for that one and uh, getting that one uh, underway up on the machine. And lastly, a little bit more progress happening on the belt drive system. So this is our belt drive, as you recall, and these are a couple of parts there. So those are basically uh, brackets that hold the lower housing for the drive shaft. And I'll just show you back into the CAD now, and you can kind of spot where they are. So there they are basically holding that lower housing for the drive shaft there. And then this is one of the pulleys that came in. We just ordered this off the shelf. We're going to be modifying it and, and lightening it. We haven't been able to find um, aluminum ones yet. Uh, so we're using the steel ones and we're just going to lighten them up for the prototype. And you can see that's basically where those ones live. So anyway, that's update for this week. Uh, thanks again for watching.